Hey everybody. So today we're going to be talking about Gemini. Here's the card for it. And <clears throat> I'm talking about Gemini energy here, not just Gemini sun sign people. Um, this could be any planet that falls in Gemini may want to express itself in these ways might be the how it expresses itself. Um, and by the houses, um, where Gemini falls in your chart, what, what house cusp it falls as, as ruling or as being on, um, Gemini energy might be what is expressed as, is how that, how that house cusp is expressed, how that house is expressed. So Gemini is the planetary ruler of Gemini is Mercury. Um, so Mercury is at home in Gemini. Um, so what, 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 what is Gemini energy? Gemini is, Gemini is curious energy. Gemini energy, you know, like a planet in Gemini may express itself in a, you know, wanting to be curious about things. Um, Gemini energy is, is definitely curious about all kinds of things. Um, Gemini energy is, it's, it's social. It is social because, you know, Mercury wants to communicate and share information and all of that kind of thing and, and learn. So there is that social quality about Gemini energy. Um, Gemini is also, um, it is also communicating too, like a planet falling in Gemini may have more of an urge to communicate. Um, this could be any kind of communication. This could be, this could be verbal, this could be written, this could be any, any, any way that we communicate. Um, a planet falling in, in Gemini might be more, more wanting to communicate more in some way. Um, Gemini is, let me see, there's a youthful quality to Gemini. Um, Gemini is pretty youthful energy. Mercury is also pretty youthful energy. That's probably why. Um, Gemini tends to get thought of as more youthful as well. Um, with Sagittarius being like higher learning, higher, higher, higher knowledge, higher, um, higher intelligence, higher intelligence. Gemini tends to be more like basic intelligence, logic, reason, those sorts of things. Um, that might be how Gemini expresses itself in a chart. Um, it's very, again, communication. So it's pretty talkative. It, it, or it can be, I won't say always, but Gemini, Gemini energy can be pretty talkative. Um, that goes back to social though, too. Um, there is a, there is a change of, there's a changeability, um, with Gemini energy. I feel like this has to do somewhat with, with curiosity. Like Gemini energy is very curious. It doesn't always have the staying power to, uh, really flesh out what it's curious about. It just wants to take in stuff, take in take in information. Um, so there can be kind of a scattered quality to Gemini energy. Um, in that, in that way, um, there can be not always, but there can be, um, especially if it's jumping from one thing to another, the attention span isn't, and that this all depends on what's going on in, in, in the chart, but they're so cur this energy is so curious that they can, this energy can jump around a lot and kind of not be as focused as it would like to be. Um, this information, uh, this, okay, so I'm going to say this. I don't mean it in a negative, in a negative way, but there is just looking at the axis with like Sagittarius and, and Gemini, 
there is a shallowness to this energy. This energy doesn't necessarily want to dig real deep into anything. It does, it does depend on, of course, planets of fall there and the aspects that, that they make and things like that. This is not a universal thing. But this energy by and large is not, doesn't want to dig real deep. It does tend to be a little bit more shallow and a little bit more superficial. I'm not trying to call Gemini people that are heavy with Gemini superficial or, or shallow, but the, the collecting of, I think it has to do with the collecting of information, right? It, it, Gemini is more about, Gemini and Mercury are more about, you know, collecting information, not necessarily making sense of it, just collecting it. So I feel like that probably plays in. Um, but Gemini, Gemini energy does tend to be a little bit more surface level. It does. Um, it just, it just does that, that tends to be how it, how it, how it functions. Um, again, not always, but I do see it. Um, and that's not always bad. We don't always need to go super deep into every, into every little thing. We don't need to, that, that can be a bad thing too, going super deep into every little thing or a challenging thing too. But there is a more surface level way that Gemini energy expresses itself. Um, Gemini is, I already kind of mentioned this, easily bored. This goes back to curiosity. This energy can get bored pretty easy. Um, you know, depending on what, what, what house say, what, what house is, is, has Gemini on the cusp, you might get more bored in those areas of life a little quicker. Like, I don't know, let's say you've got, let's say you've got Gemini on the 10th house cusp or, you know, ruling them, you know, Gemini, you've got your midheaven and Gemini using a, a Placidus chart. You got your midheaven and Gemini ruling the 10th house cusp. You might find that um, that career is something that you have a hard time settling on one thing. You might get bored with your career quicker um, than other people. Hell, you might because you're because this energy is so curious. You might find that having having a few different careers is a good thing for you, either throughout your whole life, or or at the same time, just having a few different careers going on. Um, it's actually that's actually a good thing when Gemini is Gemini is on the tenth house cusp. It's a, that's a good thing actually <clears throat> um, for those for those people. Um, but that's just a those are just some ideas, you know. Um, this energy is kind of anxious. There is an anxiousness to it. Um, I think a lot of that also has to do with with the some of the scatteredness that I was talking about this energy can can come through in a more anxious way for that reason um there can be a there can be a gossipy <clears throat> quality to this energy um that would this this would really depend on you know this one would, because Gemini is not always, Gemini does like to talk. This energy does like to talk and it does like to share things. Depends on, you know, what's going on in the chart as to how that's, you know, how that actually comes about. Is it, is it just strictly sharing things or is it a little bit more gossipy in nature? Um, that is something that can come about with, with Gemini energy. Um, let me see if I'm missing... <clears throat> no, I think, you know what? I think that's actually pretty good. Um, oh, I will say this though. It is pretty, it, there can be like a mischievous quality because it's so youthful, right? This energy is very youthful. <clears throat> there can be a mischievousness about it. That's not a bad thing. I mean, I guess it could be depending on what's going on, but, um, there, there can be a, a mischievous quality to how this energy expresses itself. There can also be an immature quality to how this, how this energy expresses itself. Um, just based on the youthful, the youthfulness of it. 
So yeah, I think that's I think it's pretty good. Um, so yeah, if you are watching this on YouTube, you can find us on Instagram at Let's Fuck With Astrology. I am at Saturn Season Astrology on Instagram. Natalie is at Abiturno Astrology on Instagram. If you're watching this on Instagram, you can find us on YouTube by searching for Let's Fuck With Astrology. If you do the Reddit thing, you can find us on the subreddit, Let's Fuck With Astrology. And if you're interested in the star cards, you can go to letsfuckwithastrology.com slash star dash cards. Okay, everybody. I'll see y'all later.